Nigerian women are always pulling Tiwa Savage down. She's one of the few African women who put the continent on the map, but the disrespect she's receiving from these women is disgusting. This is a Twitter user. Then Tiwa now responded to this, saying, It has always been like that. I doubt it would ever change. Maybe I for just JJ Day Yankee, they sing my R&B because I see how hard the Rihanna Navy beehives um, protect their own. Joining me this morning to trash this out is a feminist and corporate pro executive producer, Ireti Bakari. Hello, Ireti. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. Good morning. So, to, I mean, this topic is shaking a lot of tables and we have to be able to put the female perspective into this because they're kind of shaming her music and, and, um, and she's saying that that's something that has always been like that. Do you think this is a Tiwa Savage problem or it's a female... Um, it, women in the industry problem is that what do you think I, I think when we talk about these things we need to talk about it in context um, so if you're talking in context of the tweet that was posted is that correct yes yeah. right so here's one thing that that tweet was totally offensive it was rude it was totally unnecessary yeah okay so that's the one thing we need to agree and put you know just put aside now, with regards to the whole women always putting me down, et cetera, et cetera, look, lots of Nigerian women, and especially young women, not to imply that two after all is 40, so she can't be called young in that sense, but she also, I believe, is still finding her way through, okay? Every day we all learn, every day our womanhood becomes. Now, when men put each other down, okay, Nobody says it's man putting man down, mm. right? It's just a case of you're rude, you have no right to say that, mm. yada, yada, yada. But when it's another woman criticizing another woman, and she's done it in the most offensive way, it suddenly becomes women against women. Mm. No, okay. women are not monolithic, all right? right. I can right. dislike what you do and still support you. Yeah. The same way yeah. men have man code, women have women code. Course. Now, it's the women code that matters because not all women are going to like each other. That's a yeah, fact. That's not all men that's like fair. each other. True. But trust me, men will still keep the man code. Yeah. Okay, They will still cover their mates back. They will still favor each other first, etc., etc. et right. So I think that's what's important. Yeah. If Tiwa feels she's doing... And, and look, we must all go where we're celebrating, mm. not where we're tolerating. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. If she feels that she's more celebrated in the U.S., then she should go there. I think she has every right to go there. <laughs> every human being. Nobody needs to have to face constant abuse all the time. Yeah. And if she feels that the people in Nigeria or, or a lot of her female fans in Nigeria Amy don't connect that. with her, mm -hmm. then she should go where she's connected. Yeah. I happen um, to like her music. I don't necessarily subscribe to her politics on women. Yeah. That's a different story altogether. Yes, yeah. Of course. But that doesn't mean I can't respect her craft yeah. and I can't respect I mean, her uh, Yemi Day has done that. We've seen how she doesn't really have that much of a fan, a strong fan base in Nigeria, but she is Mama Africa and that's continental. Yeah. But Yemi, um, yeah. Yemi, you have so a question. What I wanted to say was um, when I read it to a savage tweet, the problem I had with what she said was specifically saying Nigerian women have mm. a thing against her. Because when you look at it collectively, it's not just Nigerian women who have called. Uh, who have insulted her music, yes. or who have spoken negatively about yeah. her. And she's comparing herself to Rihanna, Beyonce. These women have also been slut-shamed. Yes. These women have also Absolutely. been attacked in different ways. Mm. So um, this is not the first time that Tiwa Savage is doing something like this. So I mm. have a problem with the fact that it feels like she's always um, creating this scenario where Nigerian like women are the enemy. Right. So uh, that's my problem with whenever, you know, Tiwa Savage comes out or whenever you know, this kind mm -hmm. of issue comes up, it feels like Tiwa Savage is always blaming Nigerian women and saying Nigerian women are against her when I've seen a lot of Nigerian women actually stand up for her yeah. when no, men her. insult yes. her. So, so, so that's just yes. my problem. Do you think you agree? Do you agree to that trail of thought, Iriti? Do you think that this is kind of like well, a pity party I, going I on? I do, I do. I don't know the name of the lady speaking, but certainly I give her a round of applause. I totally agree with her. And even more so, if you look at that tweet, a lot of women came to her defense. Right. 
a lot of women came to our defense okay mm -hmm. so to constantly say nigerian women nigerian women and comparing herself to beyonce beyonce is constantly criticized okay Heavily. beyonce ignores it and moves on waits for the next big interview or article and she might choose to address it she might choose not to and i think that's possibly where tua needs to get to so yeah, I need to get to that point where she doesn't have to respond to everything, everything. Yeah. okay? Somebody yeah. stupid, clearly very stupid, has written a very stupid tweet, has insulted her. Ignore it, keep it yeah. moving. Yeah. Focus on what you're doing yeah. and continue to live your life. Exactly. How many is she going to respond to? And if she keeps grouping Nigerian women mm. into this negative bracket, yeah. she's going to keep losing yeah. Nigerian women. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's not exactly. the short of it. Thank you so much, Ereti, for being on the show today with us. I think it's made this conversation a lot yeah. clearer. So I appreciate your time here. Thank you.